Hello everybody, my name is Captain Moore and welcome back for another video of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. It's been a while since the last time uh, we did a video on that the game in particular. But uh, I'm gonna simply uh, tell you guys what happened. I did a lot of uh, side quests and leveled up my uh, character a little bit. I'm gonna show you guys, I'm now level 7. Uh, there wasn't much to do at all but uh, I found out that what we have to do uh, as a quest I chose to um, go f for the mission of ladies of the wood which is uh, when we last last off we were with Kara the witch the witch and we did a mission with her and um, simply uh, she told us that she wasn't the witch that we were looking for for the information about Siri. So now we uh, there's another witch at the uh, Krogback Bog, I think it is, and we gotta find this place and find the witch, so that she, uh, the real witch, so that she can tell us where Siri is. And uh, I guess that's it. And uh, while we while in my uh, free time, I did a certain mission with Kara, and I ended up so uh, sleeping with her. So uh, just so you guys uh, know, so I had a little ev adventure with uh, the witch. So uh, that's it. That's pretty much it. And uh, I'm gonna tr fast travel to uh, where we have to go. Where I have to go, which is let me look, take a look uh, really quick. Okay. Right now I'm at Novigrad. I have to go all, right, all over here. Still in Novigrad. Okay. I have to. I have to go all over the way there. So end uh, end tight, guys. All right, guys. I uh, found the. I'm at the way we were supposed to be. So let's see uh, what's up with this place. Looks like we have to found and find uh, an, a clue. There's one right. Doug went in the kitchen, stole a hunk of meat. Cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cooked and bled him empty, stripped his skin off clean. Laughed and said, "How tasty! Best sausage I have seen." Cook's a stupid killer. Shouldn't have ate the pup. Now we light a fire. Gonna roast him up. The one to fetch the kindlings! Hey! Interesting rhyme. Don't know you. Go away. I'm looking for the witches of Crookback Bog. You look like a witch yourself. <laughs> witches? Of the bog. We can't go in the bog. Gran don't let us. When my brother Zamek went missing, Gran said it was because he went in the woods and got lost. Gran cried an awful lot after that. He could still come back. What are you doing out here alone? He's not alone. He's with Gran. But where did you all come from? We's orphans. All of you? There's a war, so there's orphans. Didn't know that. A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You kids see anyone like that? Ain't no lassies here. What am I? You're no lassie. Lassies got tets. They do. Heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, hide them lassies in the woods. They's dazzling the soldiers with their tits, and it's torturing the poor lads. That's what he said. Listen, the girl I'm looking for, she's in trouble. I understand you might not want to help me, but you could try to help her. How are you 
you know she was here? I heard she visited the witches in the swamp. But there's no witches here. There's only frogs. And snakes. And Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you? Wearing swords like a bandit. Who's Johnny? Johnny, Johnny ate a cat. Come the more in some furry shack. Watch your language. They tell tales and tales, nor but tales. Just talking to the kids, asked them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, I was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her. Young, ashen hair. Your betrothed? Daughter, actually. Daughter? My dear, sweet little daughter. And her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm. A bit of help, please? A young, ashen-haired woman. Just need to know if you've seen her. What are you looking at, children? Wash your hands, we'll go catch crickets. Won't learn anything from you. Aye, because I don't know nothing. That Johnny knows. He knows a lot. When I ask him something, he says, Wait, I'll scratch my arse and tell you. Ugly word. What you saying? To the hut. You'll stand in the corner. I'll make sure you do. You. Be gone. Be gone. Their accent are so funny. <laughs> like, <laughs> what the fuck? I just love their accent. It's just beautiful, you know. Uh, there must be something in here. Oh, I can talk to the kids or the the lady. Ah, oh, talk to the boy. All right. Can't come in here. Not allowed in here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed! He won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you. And and Johnny's made up. And and strangers steal kids. Just tell me where I can find Johnny. Johnny's made up. Be gone. Be gone. Uh. Well shit. I am gonna have to talk to every single one of these kids. I just want to know where Johnny is, man. Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him, the others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. Have any of you ever seen Johnny? Of course. Looks just like him. Then why do you say he's made up? Gran says so. And Gran knows lots. Does your Gran treat you right? She ever hurt you? Never. When we're bad, she cries. She's scared. Say strangers might take us. And we'll disappear. The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. All right, but you gotta do something for us too. Play hide and seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. Is there something else you need or want? Ooh, I want something sweet. And me too. Or fruits. Give us a treat, and we'll help you. Don't have any treats. Well, here's what you can do. Go get some, play hide and seek with us, or get lost. Let's play. You hide, but if I find you, you have to help me talk to the boy who knows Johnny. He thinks he'll find us easy. Means he's never hid from the black ones. No looking, and you have to count out loud. All your fingers, toes, too. One... Two, three. 
18, 19, 20. Ready or not, here I come. Well, looks like we're playing hide and seek, guys. Oh, shit, that's not what I wanted to do. So, time to find those. Uh, there's, this is too easy. I'm gonna find that. Here we go, I found you. See you. Come out. How'd you find me? <laughs> that's not a, that's not a place to hide, little one. You're too easy to find. Let me just steal the, everything you got, really quick. There you go. Guess that's everyone. Found you all. You don't play right. But we'll help. Come on. Let's talk to the others by the cottage. Found you all. Now you gotta keep your word and help me talk to Johnny's friend. Why wouldn't we? Promise, didn't we? Don't be afraid. Don't know nothing. I won't hurt you. Where's Gran? She's busy. Why are you scared to talk? I'm not scared of nothing. You're all scared of something. Would have told me about Johnny otherwise. I'm worried about Johnny. You don't come round no more. Once, when we was mushroom picking, I saw his burrow. But Gran yelled at me, said not to talk to strangers, cause then kids go missing. She worries about Johnny too, though she says he's made up. I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Cause he's real. He's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be boy, cause Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There is a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This strange tree grows there. Look around. You'll see him. Thank you. Alright, we've got the information we wanted. We can go find Johnny now. Uh, what's inside? Um, call John. Johnny? Don't be afraid. You're a bucka? A Luton? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess. Okay. 
Let's follow Johnny. Strange little kid. Ah, fudge. There we go. We're here. This the place? Let me look around. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Guess I gotta make this climb. All right. All right, then. There must be something here. Yeah. Loot. Maybe he meant this bottle. Johnny's over there. Let's go see him. Oh, careful. There you go. There you go, boy. Peppers by the Pontar. <laughs> Done celebrating. My favorite words. Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? I'm looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise, downright glorious. Suddenly, heard a bang. So loud, it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared, out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired, just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's huts, quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. I've been to the village in the swamp, met a woman who might have been a crone. Did she seem confused to you? Nuts. Completely. Oof, so I'm not crazy. That's no crone. That's the granny who takes care of the orphans. Claims the kids made me up. Me! An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamps? Lived here my whole life, and I heartily recommend it. What do you know about the crones? They're as old as this forest. Cruel. Vindictive. Not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice, might take his life. Depends on their whim. They're nasty. Although, they care for this land and its folk in their own way. Supposedly, they always keep their word. But you must be careful what you ask for. Won't find them until they want to be found. See them until they want to be seen. But remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something, or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me, and I'm no bore. Come with me. Good. Uh, can you go quicker, please, uh, Johnny? <laughs> Thank you. Clear. Not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Little Johnny softly gazing, fire waning pale. Pop! A spark jumped out and whispered, listen, I'm a tale. You 
It got your voice back. I did. Though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. The woman I asked about earlier. Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No. She's not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well... Since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. Johnny's a good, good lad. Though the ladies don't like him. No. Foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies lovely. With power o'er all. Beseech I thee. Answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. How dare you disturb our rest, woman? I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen-haired girls. The young woman. She's my daughter by choice. I raised her. <laughs> if she's shapely, what does it matter? <laughs> matters to me. I believe we've hit a nerve. He's bubbling like well-fed yeast. Oh, that's how I like him. It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? Oh, hard times are upon this white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we may be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen-haired maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. A dagger? What for? When the alderman sees this dagger, He'll know we sent you. He'll aid with all. I'll talk to the Alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, white one, return only once you've completed the task.
Oh, you mistress, right. On me way. Dagger. Gotta bring the dagger. The dagger. For you. The ladies told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear, stone shear, stone nose, stone ears. Okay, guys. Uh, looks like we finally did it. We have to talk to the elderman of Dawnwarren about the village's problem. All right. So where, where is that at exactly? Look at the map. Oh, it's right there. Okay. Now, well, guys, I'm gonna go right there and uh, I gotta see you there. There you go, guys. Uh, I'm in the village in question. So. Go talk to this person over here, the elder man. Here we go. Greetings. Nice village. Aye. A real pearl of the swamps. If you say so. You get by all right? Aye, winter to winter. Somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger? I didn't know you belonged to them. So you know who sent me? Good. Easier that way. Forgive me. I didn't know you came from the ladies of the wood. They help you often? From the time of his cutting, every man is theirs. They be harsh mistresses, but they're fair. Just. Demanding they can be, but then nothing in life comes easy. Who drove off the plaguey heirs? Who gave us seeds to plant? Round the other villages, they'd be eating the soles of their boots, whereas we, well, we get along well enough. Hear about an ashen-haired woman meeting the ladies of the wood? Well, I ain't heard nothing about that. Beg your question to the ladies, and they may answer. They knows all that happens in Velen. They got informers? The woods listen for them. A lone word at an ill hour can arouse their wrath, but they hear pleas and prayers as well. Once, a swineherd lost a sow, sat and cried at the crossroads. The sow ran out of the trees as if chased by a devil, straight to the swineherd. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the whispering hillock they lie. Unburied all. Fathers, sons, daughters and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. Need more details. You must see for yourself. Me grand's mum whacked me crosswise for straying near the Whispering Illick. But what happens there now is a wonder. A few times folk from round here gathered to chop down the trees and burn the cursed soil back to use. None returned. The ground neath the weeds is white with human bones. Ladies of the wood don't know what this power is? They know all. Old Thecla claimed they'd be punishing us. Folk stop respecting them. Some even call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the Whispering Hillock. You be careful, Master Witch. Don't ye treat this evil light. I won't. I won't. Uh, where this might be. 
Must be somewhere around it. Oh no, it's pretty far away. So, okay. I'm gonna fast travel, guys, and get back to, to you. Alright, guys, I'm at the uh, place we we're supposed to be. There's something over here. I guess that's where I have to go. Be no. Gone. Be gone! Be gone! Be gone! Come no closer. I know whence you come. I'm gonna go and come closer. I don't, I'm not afraid of you. The powers that protect me, they sense whence you come. What now, you? The voice from within the tree. Oh, there's something here. A wolf liver? That's not what I wanted. There's a big tree over here. Maybe I have to find a way. Oh, maybe that? No. Show me what you got. Find out what's killing the villagers from downward. Maybe it's the wolves. Probably is that. Okay, so I have to probably kill all the, those wolves. Oh, whoa. Calm down, you. Calm down. Uh, is there something special? Besides the wolves. Yeah, I'm still looking. I can't find anything. There must be something over there. That there is a special art or something. Oh, it's right on the bottom. Medallion's humming. Place of power. Oh, there's something here. I found something. Kid. Alright. Oh, the medallion. Okay, my my controller is vibrating every time uh, I'm close to something. That means... What the fuck is that? A werewolf? What? Oh, come on! A werewolf? I'm gonna be killed by werewolves, guys. Oh God! I can't do this. I can. It's regenerating itself. What? I'm not supposed to kill something that with. Oh! I have to kill him with big shots. Here we go, I got him. Jesus. Show yourself. I want to talk. Oh god, that was a uh... place of power. Should draw from it. That was something. Um, I have to go here. Over here, there's a a cave. Okay. Down the cave. All right. Gel in the water. Um, dive. Hope we don't find anything else uh, that might uh, go against us. Okay. He must be somewhere around here. There you go. Why have you come? Why spill this blood? 
Are you here to grant me death? Or is my freedom your wish? I saw women, children even, lying dead on this hill. Did they want to destroy you? To nature, to the forest and earth, all death is alike. Every death is equal. I cry. I will. None of this. Who are you? I abandoned my circle, where I kept the balance. The crones killed me, and cursed my ghost. Never heard of a druid circling Velen. I wander eternally through a maze of vows, helplessly sliding or rusting me. Why did they kill you? The crones want this land. They drew the wood alone. I stood in their way. I had to die. You claim to be imprisoned. How so? I am bound here in fetters of magic. I wandered endlessly. A labyrinth of thieves. The children. I know all. I know what awaits them. Free me, please. I must help. If something threatens the orphans, I'll help them myself. The children have been taken. Free me, please. I come the a gale, a gallop unchained. I shall see them. Only I can. I saw women, children even, lying dead on this hill. Did they want to destroy To nature, I cry. The crones, what do you know about them? The sisters are older than the oldest trees. Velen is their realm. All life here serves them. The sisters live concealed. You will not find them. They hear all. You cannot hide. Why do you think the kids from the meadow are in danger? The sisters took them. They shall not return. Where'd they take them? I can help. It is done already. It cannot be undone. There are no rules to our serving. They shall all die. Let them be saved. I don't believe you, spirit. Too many claim you're evil. Your words alone, not enough. Dare oh, me. And against you will rise. All the powers of nature. You went for it. You think I'm gonna free you? You're an evil guy. I'm not gonna free you. Just because you know how to talk doesn't doesn't mean that you're uh, a good guy. You're really easy to defeat, you know. I almost don't have any left life left. There we go, he's dead. One problem solved. Let me go to the next. Uh, now we have to go. Where exactly? Oh, just there. All right. So let's go to our location. There you go. 
What's new in the broad world? Solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the Whispering Hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where's something lurking there? An evil spirit had possessed a tree on the hill. It was responsible for the killings. How'd ye dispel this evil? Some being had come to possess the tree's heart. I destroyed the heart and its inhabitant. So it were a ghost? Will it be back? No. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? Aye, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon. There's payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? Tis our pact. Uh, you're a stranger, you don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. So, all those ears in the woods... Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving and we must tarry on, our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive... Must seek his own protectors. Young man, he's even lovelier in real life. Mm. In real life, you're different than you were in the tapestry. Well, bring it here. Never seek to cross us again! We shall forgive you this transgression, for you've done well. Your children are plump as piglets, sweet as caramel. But now we must talk to our white-haired friend. The woman who cares for the kids. She's a debt to pay. She is here by choice. She's insane. She knew what our pact entailed when she made it. We helped her. She promised to serve. Now she bears our mark. Belongs to us. Come. It is another woman who interests you. Speak, white-haired one. Deal. I did my part, now you do yours. A word once given, we never break. The girl, mousy blonde, 
That's what they call it. Thin as a rail, terrified, exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. Mischievous, stubborn, and selfish. The young woman I seek never hurt anyone without cause. You've not seen her long. She's changed for worse. Why'd she attack you? She's no longer the girl you once knew. Wrath consumes her. Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word. So tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. We knew someone special to arrive. We read beast entrails, saw the omens. We would glimpse her likeness, a mirage in a puddle. She came from the lower swamp. We knew not at first it was her the omens had spoken of. A child of the elder blood, the soul seed that would burst into flame. The table set, the cauldron bubbles. We cannot! You know she is meant for him! Imlirith will get her. He will, but not whole. <laughs> well said. We'll just have a supper. I'll take her feet. Lovely. I'm <laughs> plump. Perfect for a broth. Oh, I can taste it already. Very well. Get on with it! Oh, you'll regret that girl. Regret it dearly. Guys, we're not playing as the as Siri. That's cool. But I'm gonna have to end the video right here because it's been a long video so far. So I hope you enjoyed it. So if you enjoyed it, uh, remember to leave a like, and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye.